let's do another dead cells one let's try one more time with dead cells we'll try again we'll try again we'll get the casino going on if we'll win uh let's try again let's go dead cells let's go we're getting so close to bc2 if you watched the last let's play video we were very close to winning so now we need to do that again i have a feeling brutality builds are always my best ones brutality builds are my best ones should i just do another brutality build like this one right here already has good well let's see let's see let's see what we have <gasps> the explosive crossbow i am a fan i am a fan of the explosive crossbow and the root grenade ah oh, screw it let's go survivability all right well you know how i said let's uh let's go brutality again no we're gonna go survivability we're gonna go survival builds with the root grenade and the explosive crossbow because i do like the explosive crossbow quite a bit I can't rely on brutality forever, you know? If we can get the explosive orb as well, that would be really good. What's up, Lagia? Am I stuck on BC2? I wouldn't say I'm stuck. I've only played it for about seven runs. And my best is I've gotten to the final boss and I died on the final boss. We're, we're almost to BC3. We're almost there. <sighs> it's just brutality builds are always so good, you know? Why are those damn brutality builds always so damn good? Give me the grenade. Oh, a little mushroom boy. I'll take the mushroom boy. Sure. I'll be honest, I don't like making the Mushroom Boy explode, so I might not ex I might not blow him up, but I do like the Mushroom Boy. Game, you're gonna need to give me another explosive crossbow, by the way. I don't want to use the original one the whole time. Here comes the hot step. Uh. Yeah, chat, gamble your points. Uh, chat, chat hates gambling sometimes. Today's a cozy day in the Twitch chat world when it comes to gambling. I feel like this is one of the games that I'm not going to get as many Twitch chat people to play, probably because it's a little intense. This game, this game's a little intense. 4,000. I don't really want any of these. I don't really, I don't, I don't really want any of these. That could be actually pretty good right there, but I don't really want that. I don't really want that. Good luck, men. Thank you. Thank you for the good luck. And to, thank you for blessing all the other men for good luck. Women, I'll bless you. Good luck, woman. Sleepy Hyuk. The abomination. That's the Hyukster. Uh, where do we want to go? Promenade? Eh, we'll just go promenade and condemn. There isn't really anything else here. We'll just go there. Run starting off pretty good. 4,300. Hmm. 17. I'm going to keep the cells, to be honest. Upgrade to S quality. Sure, why not? Sure, spend all my money on S quality stuff. I don't mind. Rowan also parries attacks and projectiles with your shield in your backpack to own 53% of its basic damage. I might remind me to throw a shield in my backpack. No, I haven't tried it yet, so remind, remind me to get a shield to try it so I can... I, I, I want to try That sounds better than all the other ones. That sounds better than the brutality and tactical little backpack ones they have. 
like it parries on a roll that seems insane the only shitty thing about using a crossbow and having it be survivability is i can't really i can't use um the close range one without feeling a little weird because my tact my, maybe i should get tactical up for that but this is a freaking explosive crossbow so i don't really want to go close range too often nice Infantry bow. Oh, I don't want any of these. Listen, lady, I'm trying to get a shield. Kebab will be good. We can use that before we leave. Don't really need the gardener's key. We already got the uh, explosive crossbow here. Someone left the cow's head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. He carefully traced the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. The frantic sword. Never used that one before. <sighs> Chill, gamers. Frantic Sword's a good one. Well, let's hope we get out of here and take it with us. Always like getting new swords to get. Because, you know, some stuff is so rare to drop in this game. Uh, we'll go Tactics. Maybe if we get Tactics up high enough, we can get Point Blank. But I feel like we probably won't take it. I've only used the blueprint extractor once and I was very confused at first because I didn't realize I had to pick it up again after. Can I please? Oh my. Can I please get a god dang shield? So shark, you want to know something? You might like this. If you're still here, shark. No shield still. Actually, I should go up there to get that free money. What up, Nier? How are you doing? You have to drop the hunter's grenade on the enemy, then pick up the blueprint extractor and charge it up on the enemy with grenades. Yeah, I've used it once. It was very confusing at first, but we did... Oh. I do like the death orb. But then my thing is useless. My ability. But the death orb. I'm a fan of it the root grenade and at the mushroom boy about to finish work for today how are the runs going they're going good we almost actually won one of the runs for recycling we all we got to the final boss on bc2 which is very impressive for me i'd say 
Consider I only have about 30 hours in the game. I'm pretty proud of it. What's up, uh, Hulukis0508? How you doing? Can you please give me a goddamn shield? I'm trying to get the armadillo pack. Please! Oh, I accidentally blew him up. Sorry, Mushroom Boy, I blew you up. Honestly, I actually might go get the Root Grenade over the Mushroom Boy. I think the Root Grenade... Oh, no, I already recycled it. Never mind. I like the Explosive Orb, though. I I'm a fan of that one. I think the root grenade would have been better than the mushroom boy, but no, uh, whatever. Uh, let's go prison deaths. We went prison deaths last time. Plus, we get four scrolls. We'll take a curse. We'll take the curse and feel frisky for once. We haven't taken many curses on BC2, but why? We're gamers. We can survive. Frantic sword. Inflict a critical hit when you have less than 50% health or more than 50% malaise. This weapon of choice for fighters who like to live dangerously. I'll unlock that. Sure. <gasps> Was there a drop on the elite that I didn't pick up? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Didn't see it. This is pirate. I hope you're well. Upgrade that to plus plus. Uh, well, well, we won't do anything else. Uh, I'm gonna get no mercy again. We will heal up. Take that flask. We will not go to the bank, and we will go to the cursed. We'll get the cursed chest to get that free scroll, and hopefully not die. Hopefully, we will not die. All right, me. Hey, a better mushroom, boy. More damage to rooted targets as well. Man, if only I had that root still. Being mad today. Uh, one of those days, eh? I don't want to do this. Okay. All right, we got the curse. I didn't want to fight one of those big guys with the Macarenas or the the hats because why am I blanking on the hat's name? I didn't want to fight them because fuck that. Yeah, you see why I'm saying fuck that? At the iron cells key. I do like the explosive crossbow, I will say. This is pirate is still loving the music every time. Uh, stun grenade could be pretty good. We'll take the stun grenade and drop the death orb, even though I already upgraded it, just because the stun grenade will work well with the mushroom boy.
Or is it rooted targets? It might have been rooted, actually. Yeah, it's rooted, not stunned. Well, stun grenade is still good. Boots. I'm messing up my item combinations right now, man. I am messing them up everywhere. More money. War Spear has been unlocked. Not bad. NVIDIA is rumored to be in discussion for the Switch successor. They're always in rumored. Also, Shark, you want to hear something uh, that you might find funny? Is it a joke? No, you might like this. So you know how uh, I did the exclamation mark scam with you and uh, you gave me 50 bucks on PayPal to buy an e-gift card and buy stuff on the Nintendo store? Well, I checked my PayPal and it turns out I used my, my, my business PayPal on the Nintendo store and not the one that I wanted to use. So... I had $50 on PayPal still. And with that, I decided to buy a premium collection Charizard set. To basically make it like almost half off on Pokemon Center. <laughs> this one has a shield. Uh, keep in backpack. So, it's apparently should be arriving today. And I, and I, in my head, I was thinking maybe Cat streams the opening of those cards. I don't want to stream it. Shit, where do we want to go? I think we got Explorer's Instinct. Let's see if there's anything we missed. Let's hope you make more than what I spent. I mean, I don't really care about making money with Pokemon cards. It was more of a little treat, I guess. Open on cam in some way. Better not be a Fi Fi Discord cam, because I want to open one or two of these packs. I want to open one or two. I like Charizard. I want to have some fun this beat is sick. Looks a critical hit when you strike several targets at the same time. I and mean, that's okay, I guess. The classic conjunct conjunct conjunctivious outfit. Sure. We'll invest in that. Oh, man. Uh, Heart of Vice is kind of useless. Well, actually, stunned is still kind of good, so never mind. Recover 2.7% HP after parrying a melee attack. Do successful parries count towards the roll? Oh, wait, I don't even have the roll yet. Never mind. Con Conjunction conjunctive conjunctive conjunctivious 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 that's a word maybe i should uh redo the um 
my mutations next level. And if those, if the rolls count as the successful parries, maybe we should get the stun, the skill cooldown to be down. God, I hate that guy. He just took away half my health. I'm going to use a flask. Cat open Pokemon cards? Wait, can, can I open a pack or two? Damn. I may not open a lot of cards, but I still like opening them. Not even allowed to open a pack that I bought. I won't stream it. I don't want to stream it. I'm trying to get Cat to stream more, not me. What up, Saturns? How are you doing? What's up, Zulu Charlie as well? How are you doing? Hey, you're surviving. What about me? We're doing some good Dead Cells runs right now, I'll say. A bat. Oh, shit. That is so Oh, dude, the bat. Oh, I'm tempted to buy that bat with all my money. I'm tempted to buy that bat, man. The bat is always so good. Batman, huh? <laughs> I'm tempted. The bat's really good. And it can be a survivability bat. And when I stun enemies, it could go pretty good. What I need now is like a frozen grenade. Like an ice grenade would be really good. Bye, shark. Get home safe an office day which is always shit for your motivation ah you're normal you like working from home why why leave the house for work when you can just stay home we got the banished outfit that's not reloading uh, we'll keep the survivability going, but... Uh, what do you guys think? Should I go for the bat? No, not, why am I asking? Most of you don't know anything about this game. Professional Dead Cells plays. What do you think? The bat's tempting, but it'd be the only thing I have. Always bat. Always bat. It does do critical hits on stunned enemies, and I do have the stun grenade. Ooh. Well, I just bought a kebab instead. How coming into the office twice a week affected your gym schedule and he didn't seem to take it too well? He doesn't want to know that your life is being negatively affected by coming into the office when you don't need to go into the office. Work implemented a camera always on policy for work meetings last year, but devs managed to avoid it. They told us yesterday that devs now have to follow in all meetings. Why, why do they care so much? If the work's getting done, you know, who cares? When I was working at the, the chicken restaurant, my boss eventually um, put cameras in the kitchen and would call if nobody was in the kitchen because it was like slow and everyone took like a little break. He'd call and be like, why is nobody working? It's like, dude, are you seriously just watching those cameras all day? Like, what are you doing? I loved my boss. He was great, but that was like the worst thing he could have done. 
And after a while, he got rid of it because we all complained and like, hey, man, you got to get rid of these cameras. You're affecting work morale in this restaurant. They told you to come into the office three times a week. You told them you'd quit. So you're working from home or you're jobless. Which one do we got? Like hugger. I don't think I'll be able to afford the bat. Actually, we still have a lot of area here. That was a nice parry. Might be able to get the bat still. You now need to come into the offices once a month. Still too much, in my opinion. I mean, once a month is a lot better than 12 times a month, you know? Still kind of a waste of time. I feel like once a month, like once a month, how big is that once a month really making? Like, is it making that big of a difference if you're there once a month? God, I hate these things. I hate this thing. I might have to, uh... I have to use another flask. Team building? Fuck team building. People do better when they don't have to see each other's faces. People do better when they don't have to interact with other humans. When they don't want to. Being forced to interact with people is horrible. We can't afford the bat. Do we want to go bat? You're the only person you know of the same job working in the office more than before the pandemic. Like a person you know as in like people on Twitch or like in your office. I hope it's not your office. You're the one that has to work more. That would be fucking horrible. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. Dude, I don't know. This crossbow's been really good. No, 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 no. I don't think we have time for you right now. I've already killed all the enemies. Crossbow or bad? That's the real question. Why not just quit? Take the curse? I don't want to take the curse. I've already killed everything. Everything's already dead. Except this guy. Do boss no hit? It's not that simple to just no hit a boss. Alright, let's see how good the bat is. Oh, this is not the bat. This is a chicken shop. Where's that bat? How good is the bat compared to what I have? Attacking a stunned or rooted enemy lets you strike frantically, dealing critical damage. 60% damage versus bleeding is one of the uh, things. The crit's really high on it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Yeah, and it can be upgraded, so I think this will be the viable choice. We just have to get something else now. 
because I'm keeping my parry in my pocket. Parry in the pocket. Dude, the stun grenade also is a four and a half second stun, so... Actually, I could just, uh, get one of these. Okay, we'll just take repeater crossbow. Hopefully it's not a two thing. We'll unlock some outfits as well, and we'll save the rest for the other thing. Oh, it's a goddamn double. That's unfortunate. Oh. Peter Cross was the strongest weapon in the game. Well, good thing I have it now. And good thing I just spent all my money investing in this bat. Ugh! Pardon me. Holy moly. And he sold it? Ah, we'll get it eventually again. Don't worry. I feel like the items spawn quite frequently in this game. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Oh, God, we're doing the nest. Oh, man, I hate the nest. I'd rather fight the concierge than do the nest. Come on, little man. Ugh. Well, this isn't good. I have another stun grenade. Because of the heart of ice. If I can just kind of spam, I'm actually kind of invincible with this. Holy shit. If I can just spam fast enough on bosses, I never die. If I spam fast enough on bosses. That was quick. The st I, I could technically just get stun grenades endlessly if I have a fast enough mash with the bat. Because <laughs> it... Recovers so fast. Oh my god. Well. Let's invest everything into this. 15% we plus plus. Uh, I don't have any more. Sorry, boss. Um, I already got my mutations. We will take that. I do not feel like doing the fractured shrines. A game nerd. Burgle banana. I feel like still... Vi I feel like the villages and all that still going to be harder, though. Honestly, what I want... What I want in this game right now is probably a frozen grenade. The bat would work really well with the frozen grenade because it, it's already working really well with the stun grenade. Wolf trap. Freezes nearby enemies when the effects end. Is it time to say goodbye to the little mushroom boy? That's insane. Fuck out of here, mushroom boy. See you later. Uh, poison has no effect on you. 
Damage from projectiles reduced. Sure. Oh, baby. Wolf Trap has made this much more interesting now. Bat crits on root. And on stuns. Keep the chicken there. We'll keep the chicken. Uh, sell that. Boss, I'm honest, the bosses are my least scared thing, scary thing right now. <laughs> the scariest thing are the big enemies. If I don't get my crits on them. Keep the chicken there. We're going to need it later. What the hell's up here? Wait, I've never been up here before. Oh, it was nothing? There was probably something above that I didn't get. The bong sound on this bat reminds me of the frying pan in Team... Oh my god, there's the ice grenade. Dude, oh my god. Okay, so the bat doesn't crit frozen enemies. It's only stunned and rooted, so I think it's going to be worth to sell that, actually. Oh, I didn't even use the key! Well, that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, I can see them nerfing the bat, to be honest. I, I can see it. I can see it. I can see the bat being nerfed. Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it to me. Ooh, the Forgotten Sepulcher. Oh, God. I just got crushed by a fucking elevator. Where's that chicken? <laughs> uh, well, we could go Forgotten if we wanted to. Secret kebab found is nice. Does this feel like a win? I think it's a little early to say, but the confidence is definitely there. It's I think the major thing is actually just going to be getting to the bosses. Because I think with the bosses, I might be able to hit them enough to actually just constantly get my stun grenade back. Because the stun's 4.5 seconds. And with the combos that we have, if we're hitting rooted and stunned enemies, we get our cooldowns back faster every time we hit them. But normal Joes die too fast for me to be able to get it back instantly. So I gotta be concerned with normal Joes over here. But it's definitely feeling good. It's just gonna be a matter of not taking too much damage as usual. Remind yourself, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. By that. We can afford a chicken if we want one. I think in my few hours of BC2 playing, the most valuable thing I've learned is money management is actually super important. Gold is a literal lifesaver on 2 BC, because if you have a lot of gold, you are getting... You're able to buy actual health items to keep you alive.
Oh my god, you are such a dick. Flimsy shield. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of things. Repeat the last hit common to inflict critical damage. Increases your movement speed for five seconds after a critical hit. Victims slow down all enemies when they die. Oh my god. And now we got another weapon. That's a big weapon. It'll definitely come in handy. Uh, we will cycle because we care about the environment. And let's find that shop one more time and buy a chicken. And then we'll probably get the hell out of here. I think this is it. Hello, chef. Thank you, chef. All right, that saves us a flask from the unused. And now... Uh, let's go this way, to be honest. Let's just go this way. I think I got that second key. All right, clock tower's next. Yeah, killing owls for the environment. I'm, I guess you could say, uh... I'm an environmentalist. Mm, I don't really need anything. I could invest in just some outfits again. Nah, let's not let's not invest in outfits. Let's uh, save the cells for the next area. I can invest in outfits when I have all my forge stuff done because I think the forge will be way more important because at the end of the day the forge having the forge upgraded will save us money and money can buy me everything outfit doesn't mean anything to me in this game that's just a cosmetic at least it's free unlike other games so for people that don't follow me on twitter or follow Pergo, I played overwatch 2 last night and it was insufferable. I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, you played Overwatch. You going back to it? No. If anything, playing it last night signified that I it, it made it made me confident that I will never be a shooter streamer again as my main thing. I think the stream benefits roguelites more and fun. Hey, what do you got? You got nothing. See you later. I got another one. 17 on the green. blew up another one holy moly good parry another mushroom boy sorry mushroom boy we do not need you right now as much as i love you as much as i love you little mushroom boy uh you're not needed right now mushroom boy i mean they're they're fun to use they're fun to have but you know i don't really need it right now we actually have a we got a really good build going again today's a good day today's a good dead cells day that's for sure they're fun to blow up i think i was reading the achievements available in this game 
And one of the achievements was win a run without blowing the mushroom boy up. <laughs> And I was like, I'll get that one day. Like, I would probably get a good amount of achievements in this game as someone that likes collecting achievements. I would probably get a good amount of them. But all of them, probably not. I already got half of them by just playing casually. Because the achievements in this game are pretty easy to get. There's just a few really hard ones that will not be easy to get. Oh my god. Taking the bat was the best thing we could have done this run. Best thing we could have done this run. Thank god we did it. Yeah, the, the zero BC ones are, um... Or zero BC, you can get most of the achievements on. That's my plan. Like, the mushroom... Like, not blowing up the mushroom boy. If I want to get that achievement, I'll just play it on zero BC, get the mushroom boy, and then probably win. I feel like I have confidence that I could probably easily win a zero BC run now. Because I'll have so much healing. You know? Is that how this works? Like, I start playing on god dang 2 BC and then 0 BC just becomes like a walk in the park. Because I'll have all the healing in the world. Bad cells. Bad cells. Still nothing. How hell haven't we gone yet? I guess that left side we haven't gone. What is BC? Boss cells. They add difficult. They're the game's difficulty enhancers. But there's only five in the game, so they really make they they they, they make the game really hard, really fast. And right now, we are on two boss cells, meaning we beat zero BC, which is the normal mode. And then we beat one boss cell, and now we're on two. And I would say uh, two is still pretty hard. Two is still pretty hard because it, more enemies start... Like, tougher enemies show up faster, some enemies become invisible, and you get a lot less healing. I don't know what all the other ones do, but we'll find out when we uh, get there eventually. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Extra mutations. That's the NPC at the bottom of the area, right? The one I never talked to. I don't know how to do that still. I don't know where the bell tower key is. Yeah, the aspects. I've never talked to that guy. I never talked to him because he told me like I couldn't get achievements and boss cells and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I don't care then. I'm here for W's. Here for W's, my friend. Uh, we'll take 27% more health. Alright, did I miss any scrolls anywhere? Not a single scroll has been missed. 
now I just need to find the exit. Where the hell's the exit? Right there. Hey, I didn't even use a, I didn't even use a, um, a flask. Not a flask was used there. So, uh, with that, we can actually heal up and then take the flask and still have 9,000 gold. Uh, we're gonna ignore you still. I'm sorry. We are just going to ignore you. Uh, we will heal up and we'll take a flask. All right. Let's go fight the clock room boss again. I still haven't beat the timekeeper without taking damage, but I don't think that's starting anytime soon. Eh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Already on the second phase. I took some damage, but... <laughs> oh my god, I just beat the shit out of him! <laughs> what a busted combination we have right now. Get wrecked, lady. All right. We have 166 to invest in the forge. Gets us up to 20% of the items found will be plus plus quality, which is nice. Sorry, we didn't talk to you. Uh, I will heal again because we might as well. And now we got one more boss. We're not going to go to the distillery yet. I'll go there on 0 BC probably to go check it out. But let's continue and go to the High Peak Castle. Hey, yay, yay. Let's see how we do. I haven't used my other weapon too much. My other weapon is also super freaking good, but the baseball bat is just too good right now. The baseball bat is too good to not use. Okay, I'm not a fan of this. I already took half my health. Maybe I should use the other weapon here a little bit. See if it does anything. In theory, I could actually win this so easily if I just didn't... If I just waited to kill every enemy with a stun grenade combo, I could easily get through this without, like, taking any damage. But let's be honest, is that any fun? No, it's not. Take a peekaboo. I do want to suffer at one point with the distillery. Just not on BC. Uh, nope. Let's just sell that. I have a lot of money, but... Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, what a parry that was. Holy shit, what a parry. Yo, let's go, Momo. How many hours has it taken? I'm a curious cat. The nerves of steel. Let's recycle. Oh, if I had some moonflower keys. I don't have those. This stream is filled with achievement hunters. And I love it. I've been close house in just a few days ago. I had like five achievements left, so I'm 100% it. You're normally not a completionist, but you love the game. Slay the freaking Spire. Definitely the most popular deck building roguelite out there. It's loved by many. For good reason, too. a thousand right now boss executed oh my god I'll use a flask just to be safe. I'll use a flask just to be safe. A hit took a lot of health. You take a lot of damage in this game. You take a lot of damage, especially in the end game. These guys just do so much damage. But luckily, we're professionals. We go blue. in my face oh my god that did so much damage that hit i might have to use a second flask here because i don't we're not going to get an extra one so in a perfect world we won't have to use more than one more flask after the one we were going to use probably but i try to get through the rest of the level without using it Look at all that damage, eh? Alright, we got two keys to the castle. If we get a third one, we can get our... Uh, we can get our uh, survivability up again. Get the hell out of here. Um, I think the last one will just be right up here. With all these great enemies. Oh my god. Oh, what's up? Not good. Oh, is Twitch dying again? 
Twitch is dying again, man. Didn't we just have this like yesterday? We had this like literally two days ago. What the hell is going on, Twitch? Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna heal right now just to be safe. Easy money. Uh, I'm gonna... The damage you take is inflicted on enemies. I'm gonna take that just because I'm no I know I'm gonna take some damage in the final boss fight. Time to spam yuck. What? No. Oh, I hate you. You're like the Doomfist in this game. You're annoying. You're horrible to fight against. But I didn't take too much damage from him, so that's not... Could be worse. I mean, they, the partners that had 70-30 were very few and far between, to be honest. I didn't have a 70-30 split. I wonder how this affects VODs for my, my, my Let's Play channel. <laughs> Thank God. The VODs, Twitch! You guys, you need to be guys. You need to get back in here. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're on the throne room, man. We're on the throne room. And I have 20,000. Uh, I mean, I can't really wait. Can, if I can, I save these cells for the next run. A lizard outfit. Just like a second skin. <laughs> I'll just invest in outfits at the end, I guess. And I'll get the Scythe Claw. We'll just, we'll just spend everything. Uh, we will sell these. Okie dokie. Um, I don't really want to reforge any of these modifiers. Everything's kind of good. We have three flasks for this. We had one flask last time. Um, Yeah. Let's go. Let's try to get our first survival win. We've never won with survival before. I feel like this is definitely our best chance to win with survival. Three flasks. Final boss. Let's see how we can do against them. The bat is absolutely busted. The parrying is actually insane. The parrying is actually insane.
he, the roll and the bombs away was nuts. Oh my god. BC2 has been beat. We're on to BC3 next. GG survival build for the first time. Gets the job, the job, the dub. Yo, what up, Andy? Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. That was, that was very good. BC2 has been beat. Feels fucking good. Ooh la la. So pretty. Ooh la la. So pretty. Freaky Canadian. Thanks for the 69 bits. It came in at the right time right there. Came in at the right time. We had an insane build with the baseball bat, so that was very nice. And we got the secret blueprint, blueprint, the explorer's outfit. Ex finish the game with two boss cells active. I thought I already did that. I got two achievements. All right. Good job, everybody. That was a very good run. Next time, we'll have to check out 3BC. Maybe we should take a look at what 3BC offers. Yeah, hit a grand slam. Let's see what 3BC offers, and then we can see how sad it is. So, one boss cell reduces the number of health fountains. Uh, two boss cells only get single flask. Three boss cells, it costs more money for the forge. Gather four scroll fragments to unlock the one stat point of your choosing. Can we get one stat point in 3 BC? You only get one stat? Removes all health fountains, leaving only a few single health flask recharges instead. Shoot. Oh, oh you get extra fragments. Oh god, that just sounds so brutal. But we got a uh, 2 BC done. Good job, gamers. Good job. Round of applause for me.